years ago. Legal experts are talking about what's legal and what's not. Yes, I've returned to the scene of the crime inside of FLA Live Arena where the Vegas Golden Knights fell in game number three. Coming up, I will have the latest and the greatest from the VGK in their Stanley Cup final versus the Florida Panthers coming up from Sunrise, Florida. Also, safety in our schools. A local group says they have the answer to make our schools safer. News 3 starts now. Good evening, I'm Dana Wagner. Jim and Marie have the night off. So a heartbreaker for our Golden Knights after controlling the action for most of the game. They lost in overtime in Game 3 of the Stanley Cup Final. Our sports director, Brian Salmon, talking about the mood of the team in Sunrise, Florida. Well, yeah, I had to come back to the scene of the crime where the Golden Knights fell 3-2 to two in overtime to the Florida Panthers, and now the series is actually serious. It is two games in one. But you know what? It was a game that, for all purposes, the VGK did exactly what they wanted to do. They played well on special teams, scoring two power play goals while holding Florida goalless on their five power play attempts. Yeah, the only thing the Knights did not do was win the game. So the morning after for the Knights isn't as bad as Vegas born fans may think. We liked our game last night. Didn't work out for us. I mean, it could have went either way. We we're right there till the end. I thought we played um, smart shutdown hockey in the, th in the third period and tried to extend the lead. That's what we try to do when we have the lead. We don't want to go into a shelf. Uh, discipline, uh, take care of the puck, attack when you can. We did. We didn't finish some plays. Um, and they did with the goalie out, so give them credit. And over time, like I said, their first shot went in, so it, you know, I, I thought we were playing the right way. Had an opportunity in the power play and didn't get it done. I think we've managed to stay composed um, throughout this playoffs. Um, I, you know, I, I never expected it to go super easy, um, and um, it should not be. Um, to win is a grind, and. You know, sometimes you lose, but all that matters is the next game and, and, and focus on that. And I think we've done a great job throughout the playoffs to, um, you know, after a loss, um, just, uh, you know, stay composed and, you know, go on for the next game and try to win that one. So that thought we uh, played a pretty good game. Uh, they got on late and, you know, obviously got it in overtime. So we did a lot of good. We just build off that. And it doesn't matter how you lose. It could be 7-1. Losing overtime like we did, we, we move on and focus on game four. So as I said, it's really a series now, two games in one, and it makes game number four very, very important because coming back to Las Vegas, it is much different if you're up three games in one with an opportunity to win a Stanley Cup as opposed to a series tied at two and all the pressure of the world having to end a two-game losing skid in the Stanley Cup final. Ah, we shall see. Well, from Sunrise, Florida, in FLA Live Arena, I'm Brian Salmon. Let's get back to you. So Brian's watching the game right there on site tomorrow. A lot of people around here will be watching outdoors to get that weekend forecast. Here's the chief. It's Bill Bellis. Dana, it could easily be over 100 degrees this time of year, right? And not the case tomorrow here in the Valley. It will be in the low 90s, probably 80s by the time the puck drops between 515 and 520 tomorrow evening. All right, taking the boat out on Lake Mead. Looks great tomorrow. A little warm up around 101. But notice a little cooler mid-90s on Sunday, along with the chance of a late day storm pretty much the same setup if you're heading further south to Lake Mojave 99 tomorrow uh, 99 tomorrow 93 on Sunday you don't get too many chances to head into Death Valley this time of the year and we're only around 100 degrees 103 on Saturday 99 on Sunday so where are these thunderstorm chances coming from remember the storm that came in here on Wednesday very similar storm system Dana so the chances for showers and storms increase more specific detailed timing on that and the impact on the temperatures we're only going to be in the 80s here on Sunday. And speaking of temperatures, my friend, it's been 274 days straight below 100 at the airport here in Las Vegas. Could that be somewhere in the seven-day forecast? I'll break it all down for you coming up in just a bit. All right, Bill. Weather should be perfect tomorrow at the ballpark in downtown Summerlin, the official watch party for VGK for Game 4. Gates open at 4, puck drop just after 5 o'clock. Tickets are 5 bucks with kids, 2 and under free. And just scan that QR code you see on your screen there to stay up to date with everything VGK. We are your Vegas Golden Knights headquarters. You can also head to news3lv.com for all of your updates.
So police setting up a trap of their own to catch a man accused of stealing from six rooms at the Paris Hotel. Police say Robert Black, that's his mugshot, was arrested after he was caught in a bait room at the resort. Police claim he was breaking into suites and stealing cash and jewelry. Court records show that Black has been charged with 19 counts. He has posted bond. Preliminary hearing has been scheduled for October the 23rd. And a man is shot and killed after the homeowner says he broke into his house in the Central Valley this morning. Police responded to a call that an intruder was in someone's house near Washington and Valley View. The alleged intruder found dead when officers got there. Police looking into whether this is a case of self-defense. We talked to former, longtime Clark County District Attorney David Roger about the use of deadly force in your own home. As long as uh, the person who shoots the intruder uh, reasonably believes that he or she is in fear for, for their, their safety, their life, uh, they can use deadly force. Roger says that a homeowner can be prosecuted if they go out and chase the suspect with a gun and shoot him. Right now, police working to confirm if the caller's report is true, also working to determine if a second intruder was at the home who ran away after shots were fired. Man in nearby Kingman, Arizona, taken into custody after his wife told deputies that he went crazy and hit her with a blunt object. Mojave County Sheriff's Office says this man, 45-year-old Christopher Wagner, was having hallucinations, allegedly took it out on his wife and hit her in the shoulder multiple times with an object. Deputies say lacerations and redness on the woman, consistent with the allegations. He now faces a charge of felony, aggravated assault with a dangerous instrument. And the Mojave County Sheriff's Office also looking for this man. He's been accused of stabbing somebody in Littlefield. Deputies say 29-year-old Amner Gutierrez got into an argument with the victim, ended up attacking them. Victim taken to the hospital is stable. If you recognize this man on your screen, you were urged to call the Sheriff's Office. Numbers on your screen is 928-753-0753. Man dies in Henderson police custody. His family still left with a lot of questions on this Friday night. Brent Winborn is concerned about the care his brother Ronald Winborn received in March after this altercation with police. You can see it was caught on button cam. 53-year-old died after police tased and arrested him. Spent six days in the medical housing unit behind bars because of a broken collarbone. Tonight, new documents reveal he refused most of his meals and medication during that period. And on the day he died, a nurse noted for the first time, Winborn's jaw appeared swollen. He had sores and scrapes on his legs before being taken to Sunrise Hospital, where he later died. Winborn's brother is now demanding answers. I feel that there's pieces missing that it, it doesn't make sense that that he died the way he died without there being things that could have been done to prevent. News 3 reached out to Henderson police about their process regarding medical evaluations and care. We are still waiting for a response. Car thefts costing this country as much as $8 billion a year in losses. According to the National Insurance Crime Bureau, Nevada comes out number eight for total thefts per 100,000 residents. Local mom is one of the latest victims. There she is with her son. Someone stole and then totaled the van that she uses to transport her special needs son. It was a financial loss for sure, but a personal one as well. Especially not having a vehicle and then having to get a rental. Um, so he was kind of homebound a little bit. So we weren't doing outside appointments much or anything like that. The nonprofit group behind the blue held a fundraiser to help offset a portion of the cost of that new van. Furrow says the goal now is to raise enough money through a GoFundMe account to modify the new van for wheelchair access. Clark County School District exploring many options to address school safety in the upcoming school year. Dads in Schools is an organization committed to stopping violence on school campuses. 136 schools have signed up asking them for help. Organization says it desperately needs volunteers to fulfill their mission. The dads and moms simply show up on campus. Their presence is enough to reduce violence. We need the community's help to continue the success of reducing violence, increasing attendance, and making the teachers, the staff, and the students feel safe while they're there in the classroom. 
Pastor Martinez and Dads in Schools if, will be at Crazy Pita uh, off of Rainbow and Windmill from noon to 6 tomorrow to get the word out. Sign up people as well. 25% of all sales Saturday will support Dads in Organization. If you'd like to sign up, we have a link within this story on our website at news3lv.com. So the federal indictment against former President Donald Trump over his handling of classified documents has been unsealed. Here's what we now know on this Friday night. Trump has been indicted on 37 federal counts of retaining classified information, obstructing justice, and giving false statements. Documents that Trump took from the White House, they say, had information on defense and weapons capabilities of both the U.S. and foreign countries. They also detailed the United States nuclear programs, the military's potential vulnerabilities, and plans of how to respond to a foreign attack. The attorney leading the indictment now speaking out for the first time since launching the probe. The men and women of the United States intelligence community and our armed forces dedicate their lives to protecting our nation and its people. Our laws that protect national defense information are critical to the safety and security of the United States, and they must be enforced. Smith says the laws in our nation apply to everyone. He reiterated, however, that Trump is innocent until proven guilty. Trump denounced Smith on his true social website ahead of his remarks, calling him a deranged lunatic, a Trump hater, and a psycho. Trump says he is innocent, plans to fight the charges in court. Still ahead, if there was a list of the dumbest crooks, the person behind all of this might be one of them. We're going to tell you how police were able to easily catch him red-handed. And we're remembering the man who brought Marvel to life. There's a new documentary showcasing the life of Stan Lee. We have a preview coming up. The Check City Checks Hunger Campaign, benefiting Three Square Food Bank. Just stop by your neighborhood Check City to make a monetary donation. When I hit 80, I needed help around the home. A friend of mine told me to call Freedom Care, and they'll pay my granddaughter to take care of me. Funded by Medicaid, Freedom Care allows people to choose who provides their care, and the caregiver gets paid instantly after their shift. Life is sweeter with her around. Nanny gave me so much joy as a child. Now it's my turn to return the love. Call now to find out benefits and pay, and how fast you can get started. Hey, Las Vegas, are you ready for some golf and mesquite? The Casablanca Resort offers over 40 of your favorite table games, video poker, and over 800 slot machines. Enjoy Catherine's fine dining and pamper yourself in our full-service spa and salon. Start by booking your room and golf package from $99. It's just like Vegas used to be. Go online to mesquitegaming.com or call us at 877-438-2929. In Nevada, anything that goes into the storm drain goes directly to our local waterways, which can pollute Nevada's lakes and rivers. Here's some waterway wisdom so you can help do your part. Apply pesticides and fertilizers sparingly in your yard. Clean up leaks and spills. Clean up yard waste and grass clippings. And don't litter. Secure trash in bins. Use waterway wisdom. And remember, only rain should go into the storm drain. Join us in working together to preserve our water resources for future generations of Nevadans. When it's time for that next adventure, you want to brand a vehicle that is safe, dependable, durable. A vehicle you can count on mile after mile, trip after trip. And when it's time to take a break, you don't have to worry about the road ahead because there's one dealership you can count on to take care of all your automotive needs. No matter where your adventure ends, it starts here at Centennial Subaru. Visit us today or shop online at centennialsubaru.com. Hi, I'm Andy Stanley. Life is all about decision-making, isn't it? We all write the story of our lives one decision at a time. So, what story do you want to tell? I'll help you figure it out this weekend on your move. So many hotels. <gasps> Trouble booking the family vacay? Come on. Comfort us free hot breakfast for the whole fam. They have waffles. And splendid pools. Book direct at choicehotels.com. The Golden Knights have paved their road to victory all the way to the cup as the quest for hockey's holy grail heads to the final. The Knights' road to victory is on News 3.
Welcome back in. California's governor proposing adding an amendment to the United States Constitution to help end the nation's gun violence crisis. He released a campaign style video on Twitter laying out what he's calling the 28th Amendment. This fight won't be easy and it certainly won't be fast. Convening a constitutional convention requires two thirds of the states to call for this. California will be the first, but that's just the beginning. This would do four things, raise the minimum age to buy a gun to 21, implement universal background checks, create a reasonable waiting period for gun purchases, and ban assault weapons. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy responding to the push, the Second Amendment already exists, he says, the 28th is not necessary. First in California caught with hundreds of pounds of illegal fireworks, did not do a very good job trying to hide it. The Merced County Sheriff's Office began its investigation after the owner posted this picture about it on Facebook Marketplace. Not smart. Detectives able to pinpoint a location, served a search warrant to the suspect's house. Deputies say they found 270 pounds of illegal fireworks worth about $3,000. Charges expected to be forwarded to the DA's office. And the reason places like California, even here in Nevada, should be cautious when it comes to fireworks, this. See all the smoke in the northeastern United States? In fact, fireworks around here that fly into the air, they are illegal because they can cause wildfires. And it was almost 10 years ago to the day that we had the Carpenter One fire in the Spring Mountains. And if the wind was blowing the wrong direction, this is what it looked like yeah. in the Las Vegas Valley 10 years ago. And I think that one was sparked by illegal fireworks. Right. And, you know, 50% of wildfires are human caused. Yes. So we have to do our part. If we do that, what's up? We leave that up to Mother Nature. And it did its part this winter with all the snow and the precipitation. Yeah. So I think in the short term, Dana, we're in good shape. Good. July and August, we're obviously going to start cooking up in yeah. terms of temperatures and we'll have to wait and see how the monsoon behaves as well but what a run <laughs> we have been on it's been incredible right 274 straight days below 100 at the airport that ranks fourth all time for the longest stretch of consecutive days below 100 you saw the bootleg canyon the boulder city camera there we had some scattered cumulus so a little character to the sky out there today you just saw red rock i love this shot from pahrump valley high and if you go in as is that still snow up there? Yep, we still have some snow up there heading into the middle of June. I talked about the cloud cover. That is going to be around over the next several days here. System that blew through here literally on Wednesday has lifted all the way up across the Oregon and Idaho state line. What's next on the meteorological menu right here? Another pretty stout area of low pressure. That's going to hook up with the southern branch of the jet stream and zip right across southern California, putting the center of the storm right over southern Nevada Sunday into Monday. It's also going to bring temperatures down into the 80s again. I have 86 on Sunday and 85 on Monday. Rain chances a lot like Wednesday, 20% isolated. System kind of meanders. Then some drier air punches in from the west here. And when you dry things out this time of the year, yes, we're going to recover and cool down at night but heat back up. I do have 100 degrees very close here Thursday, Friday next week. So waves of clouds throughout the day tomorrow. No rain or thunderstorm chances. So outdoor viewing parties for the VGK and Panthers game. We should be fine. And then as the system gets closer here, especially not Sunday morning, but Sunday afternoon, the atmosphere heats. We'll get some isolated storms throughout the evening here. Again, coverage is at about 20%. And then the low just spins throughout the day on Monday. So we'll keep at least a slight chance of showers in here along with these 80 degree temperatures before we start to, to get back to near normal here late next week. High today 91, normal's 98. On this day last year, we were cooking already at 108. We're at 82 right now, winds south southwest at 7 and the humidity at 14%. Beautiful night, Mount Charleston 53, the rest of the valley in the 70s, uh, 80s except for Southern Highlands, Blue Diamond and Mountain Springs. So the forecast low tonight. Down to 73, 48 Mount Charleston. We're looking at about 90 to 95 tomorrow around the valley. And speaking of highs, Dana, the forecast was 92. We came in at 91. So thank you for the applause. We tacked on another $100 for a great cause. That is the Super Summer Theater does a great job they in do. the community. Really great job. So I'm excited to give away hopefully more than $2,000 at yeah. the end of the month. There's the seven day. We still have the double digit highs going. What stands out to me, at least in the short term, is Sunday and Monday. 10 to 20% chances of mainly afternoon showers. Highs in the mid 80s. If our streak ends next Friday in terms of consecutive days below 100, 
it will end at exactly 280 days. That will go down third all time. Wow. But it does look like, and even <laughs> then, if it's 100, it's still about normal. So yeah. we're in good shape. 100 around, a long time Las Vegas, don't think 100 and dry is, nothing. is hot. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Bill. You're Coming welcome. up in sports, Brian Salmon tells us how the Gold Knights are feeling a day after a heartbreaking loss. He is in Sunrise, Florida, and he joins us next. a Palms experience at the Palms Casino Resort. Stay two nights in the Grand Blush Suite. Enjoy a poolside cabana and dinner at Scotch 80 Prime. Win a Palms experience on News 3 Live at 6. Sponsored by the Palms Casino Resort. The Knights Road to Victory leads to the final on News 3. When I hit 80, I needed help around the home. A friend of mine told me to call Freedom Care and they'll pay my granddaughter to take care of me. Funded by Medicaid, Freedom Care allows people to choose who provides their care, and the caregiver gets paid instantly after their shift. Life is sweeter with her around. Nana gave me so much joy as a child. Now it's my turn to return the love. Call now to find out benefits and pay, and how fast you can get started. This summer, get to Burlington for the hottest deals under the sun with everything you'd need to keep your budget afloat. Wow, summer, just another season to save big at Burlington. You'll love the deals, you'll love Burlington. Wow. When it's time for that next adventure, you want to brand a vehicle that is safe, dependable, durable. A vehicle you can count on mile after mile, trip after trip. And when it's time to take a break, you don't have to worry about the road ahead because there's one dealership you can count on to take care of all your automotive needs. No matter where your adventure ends, it starts here at Centennial Subaru. Visit us today or shop online at centennialsubaru.com. Hello, my name is Joel Macero, and I'm the regional manager for Guardian Security Screens. And I'm Monty Logan, a security consultant here at Guardian. Did you know that hundreds of homes are broken into monthly here in Las Vegas? Our screens are custom made for a perfect fit for your home or business. Our stainless steel mesh design is 26% thicker than other products on the market. Giving you a stronger defense so you can have peace of mind that you and your loved ones are safe day or night. Call or email us today for a free, no obligation estimate. Protecting the Las Vegas area one family at a time. I'm Ryan Pineda with HomeRunOffer.com, and I want to buy your house. I'll make you an as-is cash offer on your house within 24 hours, whether it's a total fixer-upper or in perfect condition. HomeRunOffer.com is the easiest way to sell your house. When you sell your house to HomeRunOffer.com, there's no fees, no commissions, no banks, and no repairs. Just go to HomeRunOffer.com for a free, no-obligation cash offer 24 hours a day. That's HomeRunOffer.com. The world's top race car drivers are coming to Vegas. You're now part of an elite group of people to live in a place with a Grand Prix circuit on city streets. News 3 will have the most comprehensive coverage. Formula Vegas on News 3, weeknights at 5 and 6. And now, it's time for the Virgin Hotel's Las Vegas Sports Desk. That is... Yeah, tough one to see twice, but hey, here's a stat that'll make you feel better. You know I love stats. Even though the Knights missed their shot at going up 3-0, they're still looking pretty good up 2-1 because the team that's taken a 2-1 lead in the Stanley Cup Final has gone on to win this series as a whole 80% of the time, which is still pretty good if you ask me. And another thing the Knights have going for them, they're a pretty tight group, really as close as they come. And as our guy B. Sal will tell you, those relationships off the ice also pay dividends on the ice as well. Here inside of FLA Live Arena in Sunrise, Florida, the site of the Stanley Cup Finals for the Florida Panthers. Of course, the Vegas Golden Knights so far have done extremely well in this series. One question I had to ask the Knights, and they've been asked about this a number of times, just how close of a unit they are and how that translates onto the ice. Take a listen to what the guys had to say. I think it's huge because uh, I think you go out there and you want to you wanna do well for the, for the guy next to you and, and he wants to do well for you and 
You know, we always want to stand up for each other and stuff like that. And you know, when you have fun off the ice, it usually translates to on the ice too. And uh, we do that while having a professional mindset. Every team in this league is good, right? So you get an, uh, an extra 10% of the boys liking each other, wanting to be at the rink, and it's uh, it's big for us, right? It's uh, especially when you know you get a little down, you lose one or two games, the boys are happy to be around each other. So it's uh, it's huge for us. It's huge. I think every team when they get to this position, you've been around each other for what nine, ten months now. Like you're a tight knit group. We have so much fun with each other every day, whether it's at the rink, away from the rink, going for dinners. Um, you know, we find we find a way to have fun and put a smile on each other's face no matter where we are. Of course, I will have more coverage from the FLA Live Arena here in Sunrise, Florida, as the Golden Knights push and try to win their first ever Stanley Cup championship. In Sunrise, Florida, Brian Salmon, let's get back to you. All right, thanks, Brian. Let's hit up the Aces. They dropped their first game of the year on Thursday to the Connecticut Sun. That's thanks in part to Dewana Bonner going off for 41 points, but also because the Aces turned it over 16 times as well. And Coach Becky said that a big reason for that was that the Sun had them on their heels most of the night. They went under a lot of stuff. We didn't have the assertion. We, we picked and then we stood around. We lingered instead of sprinting into space. Um, so they were able to put two on the ball and then stop the ball you know momentum and then recover back out we never really got to the second side um or, or put pressure on the rim um with our cutting and bodies and, and so I, I think for us um like i said people have been going under most of the time um i thought they did a good job mixing in blitz here and there um but at the end of the day we, we struggled um, with body movement and player movement, and when the team gets physical with you, um, you got to have that. All right, so we'll see how the ladies bounce back on Sunday against Chicago. For now, though, that's all the time we got in sports. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your night. My name is George Tice, and I'm a real client of Ed Bernstein. So I was in a really bad car accident, head-on collision. I had to have surgery, and I needed a good attorney. So I immediately thought of Ed. Ed is tenacious, and he knows what he's doing, so he was my best choice. He cares about his clients, and he cares about the results of the case. The most important decision you can make when hiring a lawyer is choosing the right lawyer for your case. We are that firm. Watch Rachel Ray, weekdays at 11. Sponsored by the 8th Judicial District Court CASA program. Hey, if you want to see the Virgin Hotel, a marriage made in heaven. Catch Brian Salmon and Jesse Merrick as they break down the day's biggest sports stories from the News 3 Sports Desk. Weeknights at 6 and 11. Sponsored by Virgin Hotels Las Vegas. Formula Vegas on News 3. Weeknights at 5 and 6. Mental health matters. Mondays at 6 on News 3. The whole idea of the Gloria Barron Prize for Young Heroes is to just turn the spotlight on 25 kids who are making a positive difference. If you know a young hero in your community, encourage them to apply today by going to barronprize.org. I'm Ryan Pineda with HomeRunOffer.com, and I want to buy your house. I'll make you an as-is cash offer on your house within 24 hours, whether it's a total fixer-upper or in perfect condition. HomeRunOffer.com is the easiest way to sell your house. When you sell your house to HomeRunOffer.com, there's no fees, no commissions, no banks, and no repairs. Just go to HomeRunOffer.com for a free, no-obligation cash offer 24 hours a day. That's HomeRunOffer.com. Many things in a mother's life affect her pregnancy. You can help improve the health of mothers and babies in Nevada by completing a Pregnancy Risk Assessment Monitoring System, or PRAMS, survey from the Nevada Division of Public and Behavioral Health and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The survey asks new moms about their experience before, during, and after pregnancy. Responses are confidential. If you receive a PRAMS survey, please share your story. At California Closets, we see room for opportunity around every corner. Together, we'll discover hidden potential in unexpected places. Professional design and installation, that's practical magic. Request a free design consultation.
Adventure can be found anywhere, but the best place to start is in the forest. I spy something beginning with S. Snow? No. Snow covered trees? Nothing to do with snow. Head outside to discover incredible animals <laughs> and beautiful plants that come together to create an unforgettable adventure. Wow. So grab your loved ones. Don't even. And explore a world of possibilities. Come on, this way. Visit discovertheforest.org to find the closest forest or park to you. Food Network star UNLV graduate Guy Fieri opening up another restaurant in our valley. It is called Chicken Guy. It's inside the Forum Food Hall at Caesars Palace. It will feature everything from chicken tenders to Guy's famous mac and cheese. Chicken Guy, Fieri's fourth restaurant in Las Vegas. It's open every day from 11 in the morning until 2 a.m. Finally, tonight it's time for Marvel fans to assemble. A new documentary arrives on Disney, Disney Plus next Friday based on the historical events of the one and only Stan Lee. What I tried to do was write the kind of stories I would want to read. Our superheroes are the kind of people that you or I would be if we had a superpower. Stan Lee, an original documentary, that's what it's called, will first debut at the 2023 Tribeca Film Festival. The film will begin streaming on Disney Plus next Friday, June the 16th. Thank you very much for joining us on this Friday night. We appreciate it. Have a great evening and a great weekend. We'll be back at it again on Monday. I'm Dr. Devin Smith. Watch For Pet Sakes Sunday morning at 6 a.m. on News 3. Everyone has questions about their pets. I can help with some answers and a few helpful tips. And a big thank you to Subaru of Las Vegas for being a great partner. The Golden Knights have paved their road to victory all the way to the cup as the quest for hockey's holy grail heads to the final. The Knights' road to victory is on News 3. My name is Sheila Logan and I'm a client of Edward M. Bernstein & Associates. The qualities that I look for in an, uh, an attorney are loyalty, honesty, and integrity. And I found that in Edward M. Bernstein. I'm Ed Bernstein, and I make a wrong a right. So if you're looking for somebody who's gonna treat you with respect and dignity and work as hard as humanly possible for you, give us a call. Need cash? offers two ways to get it. Get cash using your car title. Go to TitleMax.com, enter the car year, make, model. See how much you can get. TitleMax also offers personal loans. No title required. Check out TitleMax.com when you need more cash. Check out TitleMax.com for rates. Check out TitleMax.com. All credit types accepted. Find out why so many people say, I got my title back with TitleMax. I got my title back with TitleMax. Get your title back with TitleMax. I'm Ryan Pineda with HomeRunOffer.com, and I want to buy your house. I'll make you an as-is cash offer on your house within 24 hours, whether it's a total fixer-upper or in perfect condition. HomeRunOffer.com is the easiest way to sell your house. When you sell your house to HomeRunOffer.com, there's no fees, no commissions, no banks, and no repairs. Just go to HomeRunOffer.com for a free, no-obligation cash offer 24 hours a day. That's HomeRunOffer.com. When I hit 80, I needed help around the home. A friend of mine told me to call Freedom Care, and they'll pay my granddaughter to take care of me. Funded by Medicaid, Freedom Care allows people to choose who provides their care, and the caregiver gets paid instantly after their shift. Life is sweeter with her around. Nana gave me so much joy as a child. Now it's my turn to return the love. Call now to find out benefits and pay, and how fast you can get started. I taught Josh how to drive. The day he got his learner's permit, I took him right out on the freeway. Yeah, I thought we were going to the school parking lot, but we'd jump on the freeway. Took him onto the freeway in the fast lane. Look, I know accidents can happen, but... But it didn't happen because my dad prepared me. I prepared him. That's what I do. Dad always prepared us. He taught us to watch out for the expected and the unexpected because they're both out there. And that's the way it is. That's how we roll. The Richard Harris Law Firm, 444-4444. Join News 3 in our effort to help families in need. With the Check City Checks Hunger Campaign, benefiting Three Square Food Bank. Just stop by your neighborhood Check City to make a monetary donation. 
Every dollar helps Three Square provide three meals. And with Check City matching all donations, your dollar can provide six meals. So give what you can. Together, we can feed everyone. Join News 3 and Check City in our fight to end hunger in Southern Nevada. This News 3 primetime preview is brought to you by Pomponio Injury Law. He served three tours in Afghanistan. I know how lucky I am to still be here. <laughs> the Wall, Tuesday at NBC. Tonight, breaking news. Former President Donald Trump criminally charged on 37 counts. The bombshell indictment unsealed by the special counsel outlining Trump's alleged mishandling of government documents. Photos showing boxes of classified materials stored in a ballroom and a bathroom in Florida. Prosecutors alleging Trump showed classified documents on at least two occasions to people without the proper clearance. What we're hearing from Trump tonight as he becomes the first president charged with a federal crime. Plus, the reaction coming in from Trump's GOP primary opponents. The other major story we're following tonight, that dangerous haze still lingering in the sky. Millions of Americans under air quality alerts as that smoke from Canadian wildfires spreads to the south and west. The new city is getting hit hardest today. Vandersloot in court, the primary suspect in the disappearance of Natalie Holloway pleading not guilty to a